making the headlines tonight. Prime Minister Hun Sen announces the dissolution of Sam Renzi's ideology, which he described as being the policy of three generations of traitors. Prime Minister Hun Sen instructs the governor of Batambang province to cut part of the land bordering Pai Lin province and hand it over to the governor of Pai Lin. The Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries and local authorities are ordered to stay close to flood victims in order to actively assess the situation and make needed interventions when necessary. This is the Daily Roundup here on EAC News Channel. A very good evening to you. I'm Darshana Gauchen. Prime Minister Hun Sen has announced the dissolution of Sam Renzi's extremist ideology, which he described as being the policy of three generations of traitors. Speaking at the graduation ceremony for students of the National University of Management on Monday morning, Prime Minister Hun Sen responded to a statement made by Sam Renzi calling on the Cambodian people and the armed forces to make change in Cambodia in 2023. The Prime Minister said that Sam Renzi's statement was made with a malicious intent to destroy peace, stability and the 2023 democratic elections in Cambodia. At the same time, next year also marks the 20th anniversary of San Renzi declaring that if C stays, Sen must go, and if Sen stays, C must go. Hence, the Prime Minister announced that he will be abolishing the ideology pushed by Sam Renzi from now on. <laughs> Born in 1949, in January 1959, the government of Prince Norodom Sihanouk issued an arrest warrant for Samsari and his party. However, he escaped and then later disappeared. According to Prime Minister Hun Sen's announcement, Sam Renzi's political ideology will become the second to be abolished in Cambodia since the dissolution of the Khmer Rouge ideology in the 1990s. Prime Minister Hun Sen has revealed that the royal government of Cambodia has already prepared a special prison for Sam Renzi if he ever returns to Cambodia. The Prime Minister has also urged Renzi to come back to Cambodia as soon as possible. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more. Speaking at the graduation ceremony for the students of the National University of Management on Monday morning, Prime Minister Hun Sen said that he has not prohibited Sam Renzi from entering the country and that any plane can still carry him back to Cambodia. However, the Prime Minister stressed that the only thing that will greet Sam Ramsey when he arrives at the airport will be handcuffs. In the same graduation address, Prime Minister Hun Sen also appeared to call San Ramsey the most corrupt person in the 500 years of Cambodian history, though he did not directly use the opposition leader's name. Prime Minister Hun Sen asserted that his belief that San Ramsey is the most corrupt person in the past 500 years of Cambodian history because of the trouble his political ideology causes to his followers and the danger he brings to the nation. <laughs> He also announced the dissolution of San Ramsey's ideology in Cambodia, and thus all political parties affiliated with the opposition leader will face lawsuits. Sam Ramsey himself is currently facing a number of lawsuits, some of which have already been through the court process, 
On the 9th of November 2019, Sam Ramsey has announced his return to Cambodia, but ended up only going to Indonesia. Anthony Ellis, EAC News. Prime Minister Hun Sen has instructed the governor of Batambang province, Soklu, to cut part of the land bordering Pailin province and to hand it over to the governor of Pailin. EAC News reporter Dekan Nin has the details. During the graduation ceremony for more than 6,000 students of the National University of Management on Monday morning, the Prime Minister told the Governor of Batambong Province, Sok Lu, and the Governor of Bailen, Ban Sri Mum, that if this land division issue cannot be solved within two weeks, he will have to come there in person to solve this matter at once. มาจํานวนในบัตรบองให้บัตรบองก็ได้เวทมนะกัดเอาไปเล่นประมาณ <coughs> According to the Prime Minister, provincial governors have not been able to solve this problem for almost 30 years. The Prime Minister acknowledged that the reason for this may be due to some powerful people having land in the area for mango cultivation, which likely prevents the Batambong provincial governor from cutting part of the land to give the Pailin province. He assured the landowners in that area that the land for mango cultivation will not go anywhere and that they can continue to harvest mango there with no need to stop. Ekanin, EAC News. Prime Minister Hun Sen has ordered the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries as well as the local authorities to stay close to flood victims in order to effectively assess the situation and make needed interventions when necessary. Speaking at the graduation ceremony for more than 6,000 students of the National University of Management on Monday morning, the Prime Minister of Cambodia ordered the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries and local authorities to remain close to the people who have been hit hard by floods in the country. He said that authorities and officials must always be on the lookout to make accurate assessments and immediate interventions when necessary in order to protect the people and to protect rice crops. <laughs> The Prime Minister further thanked the Cambodian Red Cross and all other individuals and groups who have distributed aid to the people affected by the recent floods. Comparing the incidents of flooding between 2020 and 2022, the Prime Minister noted that this year's situation is different because in 2020, the government only made a general intervention, while in 2022, the government has had to first intervene and aid the people who have been hardest hit with the most precarious circumstances. During the graduation ceremony for students of the National University of Management on Monday morning, the Prime Minister of Cambodia confirmed that he will once again be going to register to vote, as he recently changed his official date of birth and will need to update his voter registration details. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more. In previous parliamentary elections, the Prime Minister's date of birth was listed on the 1st of April 1951 on the official voter list. However, this year he changed his date of birth to the 5th of August 1952, so he must go and register again with his updated personal information. During his speech, the Prime Minister also called on members of the public who have not yet registered to vote to hurry up and do so in order to prepare for the 2023 general election scheduled to take place on the 23rd of July 2023. <laughs> The National Election Committee has set the 20th of October to the 8th of December 2022 as a time period for citizens to verify their details on the official voter list and register to vote if they have not already done so. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.
If it's happening and you need to know about it, you'll get it all right here. EAC News brings you updates and breaking news in English across all of our platforms and channels. The EAC News app, YouTube, Facebook, Telegram, Twitter, and our website, www.eacnews.asia. Join me and the rest of the EAC News team every day on your favorite channels. EAC News, Cambodia made clear. Thank you for watching the Daily Roundup here on EAC News Channel. For more breaking news and updates, you can check out our website, eacnews.asia, or search EAC News on Telegram, Smart TV, or at your favorite app store. More from the EAC News team tomorrow night at 8 p.m. We will see you then.